Hello, subscribers. And this whale? They never explain why there's a whale noise at the beginning of this game. Maybe that's their interpretation of a dragon sound, but also maybe I'm Karma Jolt, and maybe this game is Secret of Mana, also known as Seiken and Setsu 2, programmed by Nazir, who also programmed Final Fantasy 1. Anyway, last we left off, we were trash in Hatagaho. Uh, the M's and N's look like H's, but what do the H's look like? Last we left off, we slept in a bed of straw, and we made friends with a dragon who we can summon with a musical instrument at will. And he'll just come and uh, pick us up, he or she. I don't really remember the gender of this creature, but it doesn't matter. They are our friend. Before I do anything important, though, I'm just gonna fly around because, oh my god, this is amazing. This is pretty much exactly how it is in uh, Seiken Densetsu 3. You know, the sequel to this game that I played before I played this game. But before I do quests and shit, I am going to do side quests and shit, as a matter of fact. And I think there are a couple items that we can pick up that will be, like, very useful along the way. Hey, there we go. I found this turtle-shaped island, uh, like, way faster than I did when I was recording a test. There's a small island shaped like a turtle. Small for an island, very big for a turtle. But there's, like, a couple people here who are like, well, first of all, this dude's not making it here. I don't know what he means by that. There's nothing on this blasted isle except these sea hare tails. Eh, you actually want one? Got Sea Hare's tail. This was his first opportunity to sell his goods and wares, and he gave me one for free. Like, did he do that by accident? Was that a fuck up? I'll keep it in my pocket. And not in my actual inventory. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> I guess they say that so that you don't try to open your inventory and be like, wait, where is it? But presumably all of the other items you are holding are not in your pocket. I'd rather be... Poor and alive, then... She can't think of anything. Maybe she hates being poor and alive. I'm from the Empire. The Emperor has gone nuts. I escaped here with my family, which is just this one woman I don't know. But yeah, basically the story around here is that the people on this turtle island escaped the Empire because they were afraid of war or something. We're married! Age means nothing, as long as there's love. Adults just don't get it. Yeah, that's what R. Kelly said about Aaliyah when they got married. She was like 14 or some shit. Anyway, um, now we have the sea hare's tail. We can go back to Kakara <clears throat> and uh, brag about it. I don't know. You're supposed to bring it to the elder or something of the desert place, which is just up here. Right? Somewhere over here? Yeah, this looks like a village. But if you bring them the sea hare's tail, that oasis that we just saw on the map that was definitely filled with water will be extra filled with water. Watch this shit. Wh what's this? King Amar. It's a sea hare's tail. Hurrah. Wait, is the dancing guy the king? I figured the old guy was the king. Because the dancing guys are obviously too busy dancing to govern, and they're usually merchants of some sorts. Water, water, we're saved. In return, let me give you this belt. The championship belt? Oh, I got the Moogle belt. Wait, that's awesome. I'll show you what it does, and it does exactly what you think it does. It looks pretty, but if you put it on, can I, can I not target everyone at once? Oh, okay, I guess I can only single target with this. But look, you can turn your friends into a Moogle. You can also cure them of the Moogle status, but let's get out of here. There's one more item that I can pick up. I think all I have to do is go back to the Dwarf Village. So let's try to find this. A button is Ascend, B button is Descend. Oh, by the way, if you hit Start, it opens up this crazy looking world map that like, you can barely move in small increments. It turns just fine here, but also like while you're looking at the world map, there's no compass rows. It doesn't tell you which way is north or south or west. Um, and it's pretty useless, but it's slightly better than the one in Final Fantasy 2. I don't know if you ever played that game, but at some point, like you're on a boat and you try to look at the map 
and it has a map that's like, it tries to be, uh, what's the word, globular, spherical? And it just takes forever to navigate that map. Like, if you want, if you, like in Final Fantasy 2, if you open it up and move like one increment, it takes like a minute for it to re-render. But, that's some other game that I will never ever play on this channel. Ugh, I'm gonna be eating my words in like a year. Right now I'm looking for Gaia's Navel. This is probably the upper land, is it not? Yeah, it's a big ass forest. Um, this is an even bigger ass forest. But this should look like waterfalls, so let's chase them like TLC didn't want us to do. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So that might be the water palace now that I think about it. Where am I going? I'm just trying to find Gaia's navel, so why don't I like land real quick and see if I'm anywhere near it. Alright, I landed not at Gaia's navel. But I'm sort of close. This is... what is the name of that village? Potos? That's the village you start at at the beginning of the game and they kick you out and they're like, Sorry, you pulled the sword. Okay, so... Where do I go from here? That looks like LNA's castle. But I could be wrong about that. I think... I think this area is where we need to go next, like, for the, you know, quest plot parts. Um, was I just here? Wait a second, maybe this is what I'm looking for. Let's land here. Yeah, we made it. Oh, and Hulk is still a Moogle. That's okay, I'll kill some bees. He immediately got cured. I killed a bee and Hulk was like, you know what, I'm, I will shed this weakened form. This adorable weakened form. This adorable weekend form. Also, his arrows reach level 5? What a beast. Mm, I'm gonna give him a different weapon before I forget. Like, I don't know this thing. It's red, so it must do a lot of damage. Hey, let's go back to the dwarf village. Where there is nobody. Nobody is around. Where is everyone? Did they leave? I would too, because this place isn't that great. Well, I could have sworn I could get an item if I came back here. But, okay, look, there's one person slash dwarf. And Hulk's got on the stairs, so <laughs> gotta go back and get him. You're safe. Somehow you seem older. I literally am. I don't get younger. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Take this mallet with you. That's what we used in the show. Oh yeah, I remember now. We saw some weird show for 50 bucks where there's like, I don't know, this guy and some other dudes, shit. I didn't mean to go down to this ship. I actually don't know if there's a way to get out of here besides use the magic rope. Oh, and it brought me back to the, look, I was talking about some other shit. You know what I'm talking about. Let's get out of here. Uh, so let's do some plot things. I can show you what the Midge Mallet does, but it makes you small, okay? Just imagine it in your brains. Or draw it out on paper and show me in my Discord channel. To which there is a link in the video description. Okay, I really think I need to go this way. So like, first of all, what's this shit over here? Is this a tiny village? Let's try to make some new friends. Uh, hi, where am I? Monsters patrol the path to the peak. Hope Sage Juch's okay. I hate that word. His name is so dumb. Welcome to the Lofty Mountains. This is Man Mandala. Oh, neat. Okay, so this is where I want to be, I think. Let's see if there's any armors for me. What'll it be? I'm gonna sell you some things. How about that? I can get an ivy amulet? A circlet? Uh, that's expensive. But these, like, I can at least get helmet upgrades. And wristbands. Alright, this might take me a second. You know what, maybe I'll just edit out the part where I, uh, buy and sell shit. Okay, I stocked up on items. I got new armor for Trash and Hulk. 
and I got uh, helmets and accessories for Trash and Hulk, and I got an accessory for memes. She didn't really need the new armor because her current armor was pretty good. Uh, but Trash and Hulk had very outdated and obsolete armor. People from all over visit our ancient temple. Which is weird, because there's like no road leading here. You kind of have to take a dragon. The mana tree grows in the pure land. It is watching over us. That's cool, and I care. Mana sustains the cosmos, but is not infinite. People no longer cherish life, so mana is fading away. Oh, shut the fuck up. Everyone these days is like, oh, you know, people these days don't appreciate what they have. Come on. You're just saying that because you're, you feel like making a judgment about the younger generations. The sage Juch lives high atop the mountain. Like a lot of older folks are like, oh, you know, younger kids, the, you know, they, they don't know what it's like to go outside and play with friends and, you know, interact with people. They're always on their dang phones and their video games. Please. Kids will always love running around doing dumb shit. This temple dates from the Mana Fortress War. The orbs inside store data from that period. The ancients called them, um, videos, I think. <laughs> Cute. Well, let's go watch some videos. That really makes me think of Ren and Stimpy. Uh, but let's go into this temple. It's basically a museum where we can talk to orbs. Gazaza, ZZZ Beep. Evening news. At dawn, Lorima launched missiles at the Empire which had threatened to take Lorima's capital by, capital by nightfall. Oh, goodness. Okay, so apparently, like, people had the technology of, like, television broadcasting and video back before... Back before... <laughs> uh, back before the, the Great Mana War. And obviously, this is a reference to Jeopardy, which makes me happy. Like, clearly that was double final Jeopardy, because, like, usually... Oh no, I guess, I guess this scenario could have happened in final Jeopardy. Where, like, someone already had a lead, and it's like, oh, that, you don't even have to see how much you wagered if you got it correct. You know how Jeopardy works. Sometimes you have such a big lead that it doesn't matter how much you wager in the last round. We must restrict the use of mana energy. What utter nonsense. We're using it up, ha. Huh? You can't use up mana arg, you don't understand. Oh my gosh, it's just like climate change. Listen to the scientists, people. Beep. There, you can see the mana beast. Just moments ago, it hit the fortress. Oh, it's coming this way. We're going off the... Zazaza, gz. I don't know why people keep saying letters with... Words with Z's and stuff in them. Oh, my heart breaks when she's not around and I miss her. Because this is a... Uh, so many Zs. It's such a useless letter. Why can't we just get rid of it from the alphabet? I don't actually mean that. Zega, Zega. This one's broken. Okay. Uh, more weird noises. Whoa, exploded. Will it do it again? Yep, it will. It's just a explosion machine. You know, uh, the ancients had this before the Great Mana Wars. Anyway, let's go up this mountain or whatever we gotta do and find a sage or something. I think there's a path that goes from the town that I can just take to the west. Somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, cool. This is exactly what I what I need to be. No, wait. Where I need to be. That's what I meant. Words are hard, okay? I'm trying to think and play a game at the same time. It's just not working. But you know what? Now that I think about it, I probably have a couple weapons that are effective against insects. So why don't I take a look? A uh, heavy glove will do it. Golden Axe, Morning Star, and the Red Cleaver. Yeah, wow. All four of these do good against insects and such. So, why don't I equip the whip? You know what? Fuck it. Let's use the glove. Let's punch some things. Plants don't count as insects, okay? I don't know if you know anything about science. Ooh. 
Did something block the Sleep Flower spell? Because he definitely tried to Sleep Flower me there, and I just didn't get affected by the sleep. I just didn't get the sleepies. <gasps> oh, treasure chest. All right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, so maybe like that bracelet that I just bought from that shop up there. Oh, no. Doom Trap. Still alive with one HP. Uh, well, I'll have... I'll have Memes Cure Hulk here. Where are your spells, dog? Okay, I, I'm clearly looking at the wrong person's ring. Uh, yeah, I bought, I bought a bunch of, uh, as I was saying, I bought some armor and... Armor, helmets, and accessories from the shop in Mandala. And I guess... I guess, uh, maybe the wristband that I bought prevents the sleep status, so that's real nice. Bah! Okay, I don't seem to be doing that much more damage to insects, despite what my weapon description tells me. And there's a cave over here? I don't think I need to go in this cave just yet. Yeah, this cave is something that I come back to later, and I know this because of a frustrating experience that I had with this game. Um, not too long ago, probably only like a couple years ago. But anyway, I'll tell you about it in a minute. Once we get to the top. Once we get to the top and talk to some NPCs. Bomb B gets whacked? Trash his weapon skill up, yeah. Now I can flail my axe around. With the power of three axes. That's what it means to be a level three. Shit, I lost my charge because of the screen transition. Oh, also, I think there's like a weird glitch that can happen. I don't really know how to recreate it, but, but I'll try. Um, I thought I had it for a second. Oh yeah, did you see that? Look, my dudes just like went up to the other side there. And now I might be, like, stuck. Come to think of it, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, there is a way to get out of here, though, if I... If I equip somebody with the whip... Well, first let me kill this bomb bee, because he's being annoying. He's being annoying? Oh, I'm hilarious. Pun intended. Okay, so if I line up for this whip spot... All the characters will will just like reform. They'll reformation, I guess. They've reformed, is what I'm trying to say. I think, and I think that's like probably a pretty useful speed trick if you're speed running this game. I'm just guessing. Um, but there's, but that wasn't even the glitch that I was trying to get to happen. So maybe I can do the other one too. Whoa! Look how high up we are. Like, how do we breathe? Let's use some magic. Actually, let's see what they fear. I want to know about all your thoughts and fears, bees. They fear axe and glove type weapons, obviously. 310 HP. What a beast. He fears undyne. Mm, well, what's ice? Why did it not show the animation for for ice? Did the spell even work? Like, what just happened there? <laughs> Lots of things are messing up this episode, and it's a really good game. You should play it. Recently just came out for the Nintendo Switch, by the way. There's like a mana collection that you can buy. Um, and I saw it at Best Buy the other day. Not sponsored. And I was really considering buying it, but then I was like, you know what, maybe I should save money for once in my damn life. But yeah, it's basically, it's this game, plus the prequel, plus the sequel, all on one cart. Um, so, it is Final Fantasy Adventure, or, what's it called? Is it Final Fantasy Adventure, is the prequel to this game? Originally, it wasn't supposed to be a Final Fantasy game. It's supposed to be like its own new series. But, you know, marketing people in North America were like, if you put Final Fantasy in the name, it'll sell real good. 
Hey, that guy wasn't there a second ago, was he? So the glitch I was trying to do was like, occasionally you'll be able to interact with that Nico from like all the way at the bottom of the mountain. Like, like at, I think like the first, um, at the first uh, whip post that you can interact with. I love Meowntin climbing. Haha, <laughs> that was a perfect joke. Need anything? I don't think so. But I can save my game for sure. Save your game? Yes. Let's save over North Town trash. Sounds like a Billy Joel song. Uh, yeah, let's see what he's got to buy. North Town trash. She's been living something, don't know the lyrics. All right, let's leave. They have the same weapons and armor that are being sold like just at the bottom of the mountain, so. So let's ignore this cat with a bag. He is standing right at the edge of that cliff. No fear. That's how cats are. That's just how cats are. Also, um, this looks like a cockatrice kind of bird thing. Or at least this is how they look in the second game. I don't know if that guy can turn you to stone, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. It'd be a lot cooler if he did. Memes is weapon skill up. Whip reaches level three. Booyah. I know I was trying to get some level up points in glove weapon abilities, but then I had to switch to the whip. Go away, the sage is out. What? Sage Jock went to the Palace of Darkness. You saw it on the way here. Yeah, so like, the first time... Not the first time. The first time I played this game, I was in like, second grade or some shit. But the last time I played this game was with some friends in like, 2013 maybe, something like that. Um, and when we heard that, we were like, oh, you saw it on the way here? Like, how does that guy know what our flight path was? And how does he know that we saw it on the way here? And we definitely overthought it, because what he means is it's that door that you passed up on the way up the mountain to get here. But also, like, in our brains we were thinking, like, okay, well, if it was the one at the bottom of the mountain, he would have just said that, right? He would have just said, oh, you passed, you know, it, it, was, it was the door that you saw uh, just down the mountain a little bit. But yeah, hey look, Nico's not there right now. And also, like, the background is now sky and clouds rather than, um, you know, the layout of the land below. So this part is just, like, glitchy and weird, is it not? Well, you can see it down there. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I love mountain climbing. Need anything? Check this shit out. I'll even save your game. Let's buy from him. Holy shit. Look at this crazy ring that I can scroll through. I can't scroll through it one at a time. Like, I have to go multiple items at once. <laughs> I don't know why this happens, but it's great. Anything else? See ya. Be seeing you. You definitely will. Yeah, there he is now. I don't know why that's so glitchy and weird. But it makes for some great YouTube content that you should like and tell your friends about. And I love that this bee shoots his, sing his stinger and it explodes. Good. Hulk's weapon skill up. Boomerang reaches some other level. That's great. I'm proud of you, Hulk. For trying new things, because that can be hard sometimes. Bopped. I don't even care. Well, maybe I should fight these dudes. Yo, Hulk is petrified? Okay, so I was right. Um, I don't know if that lasts indefinitely. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. And it also doesn't look like I'm hitting this guy that hard. Never mind. Oh, wait. So, like, my level 2 whip did less damage than just the regular attack. That's what it looked like. 369 HP. Congratulations. Contrashulations. I love killing birds and wildlife. Eames leveled up. I hope Hulk levels up too, so I don't have to like cure him. Ugh. That'd be so annoying. 
crushed. Anyway, that guy at the top, that weird looking crab dude that we talked to, he's like, I'm Jack, which is definitely um, uh, not the person you were looking for. Go find my brother, Jock, at the bottom of the mountain. So that's what we're doing. In case you forgot what we were doing, that is what that is. I could use magic to harm these bees. Or I could just stop throwing rocks at their nest. No! Let's rock the boat and stir the pot, so to speak. Anyway, now we have to go back in here. And, um, fight this face. We don't have to fight this face. But he blows up when he dies, so that's cool. And there's a bunch of knights. Look at this gorgeous palace that somebody just built inside the mountain. That must have required some crazy engineering. I hope it's another doom trap. I'm looking at the camera right now. I'm, I'm trying to make eye contact with you. Being like, yo, did you see that? Did I call that or what? Anyway, I would love some regular treasures every now and then. Damn, I could cure for 576? Ninjas? Let's fight them. Um, I think ninjas can drop, like, some really good treasures, right? Or is that the one particular ninja that I have to fight as a boss later? And I love, I love that my boomerang goes farther when I charge it up to level 3. Dodge this, idiot. Good, he didn't. I actually would have been pretty mad if he dodged it. Can I whip him from here? No, that doesn't hit him. Hmm. Well, I will use... Whoa! I crit him, like, immediately. Let's just pass that other guy up. I don't know which way to go. But, yo, look at these clappy birds over here. Um, I kind of need the axe to break through these rocks. And I'm guessing these guys... die to ice magic? Well, they don't have that much HP. They have, like, some stupid evade. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. I did 69 damage. Um, but let's explore here. I don't really know where to go. But if I remember correctly... Yo, that guy shot a laser beam out of his mouth. And a bat. Like, he's Piccolo. Except for the bat part. I think Piccolo can shoot mouth lasers, can he not? Well, I killed some enemies. That's probably like a really easy place to level up. Here, watch. I'm gonna charge up to level four. I'm gonna rush in and smack some dudes with an axe. Uh, right. You don't keep your charge when you go through the door. I just learned that like a moment ago and then forgot about it, but that's okay. Bot! Yo, I whacked him with a level four axe attack. Like, maybe I'll do this one or two more times. Because these guys just, like, don't even care to hurt me. Haha! <laughs> fierce head gets whacked. He's so fierce. He is fierce. Alright, I don't really need to level up. Or maybe I do. But either way, I'm gonna act like I don't. And, um, harm this ninja. I don't have to kill every enemy I come across, but I might. Dark Ninja gets whacked. Eames' weapon skill up. Whip reaches level four. That's great. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have her use the gloves because they are fun and interesting and neat. Wall? Sounds like a dumb ability. She doesn't even have gloves level one attack. <clears throat> attack, excuse me. My voice did a thing that you can ignore. This guy loves putting up walls like a dumbass president. Who, by the way, like, I read this report recently that, like, the small bit of wall that he has erected at the southern border just fell down because of wind. Oh, hey, check this out. Remember that midge mallet that we got earlier? That can cure the pygmy status. 
So now that I am very small, I will use it to become big again. Should probably use it on Hulk. Probably use it on Hulk right now. <clears throat> Look! It worked. Yo, there's a very thin bridge here. But we can't fall off. Like, I'm trying my hardest to fall off. But I guess there's an invisible handrail. Technology's crazy. This better be worth getting, this treasure chest. Here, I'm gonna hit him with the treasure chest. Bop, bop, bop. No, it didn't work. A thousand bucks! Alright. You know... It wasn't worth it. But, we don't have to talk about it. I'm gonna push this guy. Oh, you can't push him while he's using a spell. Um, I don't know where I'm going. That should be obvious to everyone. Like, all the time. Where does this take me? Hmm, nowhere, you say? <clears throat> well, there was this area in that cave part with, like, a button. Alright, children. Let's run. Flame Saber, level two! I'm scared. <laughs> I just punched that dude and ran. Okay, so this is gonna bring me... Hmm. Well, I thought it was gonna bring me to that button, but maybe it's gonna bring me somewhere else. Ah, yes. To another area with two heads. You know what they say. Two heads are usually pretty good. What's the phrase? Memes is pigmized. Well, stop getting hurt. Holy shit, just, she just took a ton of damage is what it looks like. Um, also, I wonder, I wonder if these enemies are evil type, so that, like, my other weapons would do good against them. Yeah, matter of fact, there's really no reason for, um, Hulk to have the, the boomerang still, except that it has good range. I'll use Midge Mallet, let's go. Oh, right, and maybe I should equip that whip. Get it? Equip the whip? I'm hilarious. Oh, I can't... I can't cross. Hmm. Okay, so how do I find those buttons? Alright, everybody. Ignore enemies for now. I know it's hard. But I believe in you. A little. This doesn't lead anywhere. All right, it looks like I went the wrong way. Let's backtrack. Did somebody smack me as I was going through that door? Because I believe it. That's the easiest place to smack somebody. Because they can't really dodge side to side. All right. Uh, let's go a path that I haven't gone yet. Oh my gosh. Hulk? You're not helping. Uh, Memes is getting a little low on HP. Maybe I should heal her? Nah, she's fine. Oh, here's a button. What does that do? Well, it allows me to do... Hmm. Nothing? Nothing? Exactly what I expected. Okay, so you know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing that put up another like peg that I can whip to like remember that whip spot that I was at a while ago Like a minute ago not that long ago now that I think about it. I Bet I can whip across That little area now. That's what I'm guessing But I've been wrong never so it must be true. Yeah, let's run. Let's run next to this bottomless pit. And be reckless. Just be young and reckless. Okay, so... Didn't create anything on that other path over there. No? It did nothing on this side? Yeah, there's still not another peg that I can whip to. And if there were, hmm, 
Okay, so I'm gonna check this door. Yeah, there's nothing in here. All right, so I am going the wrong way a lot. You should tell your family to subscribe. I'm really good at YouTube. And generally, video games. Um, what is this? Yeah, this was just like a random wall that led nowhere. Okay, okay. Just checking. Because you have to check all the areas. And beat up a lot of knights with beautiful hair. Alright, come this way. Yeah, nice dodge. You dodged his defensive spell. That's pretty good. This guy thinks he's got a whip, but it is I. It is I who has the whip. Alright, so what did that switch do? Let's find somewhere that is now changed or different in some way. Is it this? Uh huh. Alright. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to find that door before I did all of that uh, messing up that I did. So... I feel dumb. But at least I also feel stupid. These guys just, like, do not hit me ever. And then they put up a wall. They just don't let anybody in. They wall out all of their friends and keep their emotions bottled up. Hey, come this way. Hulk. I'm mad at you right now. Okay, you can sort of get your AI partners to follow you if you, like, run. Like, you can kind of force them to quit trying to fight other dudes. Yo, stop that. I don't know why her AI was doing that dumb shit, but it was great programming, and this game is just as good as everyone thinks it is. Ugh. Oh, he dodged all that, too. Yo, he's trying to give me the clap. That's not what I meant to say, but you know what I meant. Probably. Okay, so now I can whip to the other side. And hit a button, I guess? What does that do for me? Yeah, it opens up a path. Okay, so now I have to go, like, all the way back to the beginning. Whoops. Wait, I want that treasure chest, actually. I bet it's a life trap this time. Something good. Armor? Fairy walnut won't fit. You know what? Maybe I should have used some items before I did that. Okay, let's go to that door. I don't know if there are any orbs in this temple that I should be trying to find. But let's run away from all the problems. Okay, so how... I remember seeing that wall earlier being like, oh, it's got cracks in it. There's probably a way to open it up. <clears throat> so let's get back there. Also, there was, like, a couple paths at the very beginning of the dungeon that I just, like, did not explore. So, let's kill this guy. That guy doesn't have that much HP. He's, like, pretty easy to kill. Even when he does wall himself. But he can fly! That's remarkable in some way. Well, now I'm not hurting him. There we go. Trash his weapon skill up. Whip reaches level 4. Impressive. You've grown so much. Also, I just, like, have not taken any damage in a while. Which I appreciate. Must be the armor. Oh, shit. That guy's throwing forks at me, though. Forks is what I named my character in Lufia. Yo, double kill. That was nice. That was a nice shot. Alright, it's, like, up here, I think. Uh, oh, wait. Nobody has the axe right now. But what I want to do... Yeah, before I go that way, let's go back to the beginning of the dungeon. This is, like, right at the front, is it not? I just want to see what was at the other path. Because there's another path that I could have taken over here. And directly behind that guy. 
You know what? I must have opened that door at some point. So, huh. There's two ways for me to go now. Ah, shit. I'm getting burst. I'm getting burst, which is the past tense of burst, I believe. Like, yeah, check this out. This door was not open before, was it? Ooh, and it leads to a treasure chest. Ow! That guy actually lasered me. Man, I should have kept my mouth shut. I was like, ooh, I haven't gotten hit in forever. Well, memes just got all of her HP back. So did trash. Two treasure chests in one room? That's crazy. Okay, I got a gloves orb. That's nice. It's always nice to get orbs. Axe reaches level five? Fairy Walnut won't fit. You know what, maybe I should like use one of those. I'm gonna cure myself. I'm gonna cure everyone. Well, actually it's just Hulk, huh? Yeah, I was missing a total of like 15 HP. And then I'll use a Fairy Walnut. Just in case there's another in a treasure chest, it will be able to fit. So, um, how are you? How's everybody doing? You should let me know in the comments. Okay, now I can go this way. I mean, I could have before, but I got a thing that I wanted to have. A gloves orb. Clap, clap. That's what that enemy is like. Yo, double bops. I hit him for 170 and they died. They were at max HP, too. <gasps> What's over here? <gasps> Paths that I can illuminate? What happens if I hit the button again? Nothing? That's... Nice. Yo, this guy dodged my charged up attack. I think if you step on the button, it like... Did that reset my attack gauge? Well, against my better judgment, let's find out. Yeah, it totally does. But Oh, I missed him. Never mind. Memes this weapon skill up. I'm getting a ton of levels. There's no reason to fight that guy, so let's leave. Let's take the fire invisible path. What did I mean by that? Look, it's obvious. You probably knew exactly what I meant. Language is weird. I can say a bunch of shit that doesn't make sense, but you can still know what I mean. And Berman? <gasps> what is this? I shade will test you. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, it's just a test. You know, it's just a shade test. I can't really move. What did it say? Le slime? Is that what it called him? I'm gonna use um, analyzer on him. Even though ER level two is that what it just said? Even though, like, I probably don't have the right element. Lime Slime Fears. What did it say? Salamando? Oh my gosh, it's going so fast that I couldn't really tell. My magic... Oh. Dispel Magic got rid of my weapon charge? I hate that. Well, time for some fireballs. Level 4 fireball. I must have, like, used that a bunch. Alright, so... It kind of looks like my dudes can't really do much unless they have a bit more range. So, oh wait, you know what? I definitely want to give them weapons that kill evil things because this guy looks pretty evil. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and while I'm at it, why don't I give myself this sword? Okay, Trash is Frostied. I'm gonna switch characters here. It did say Salamando, right? Like, I'm gonna analyze this guy one more time. Because I, I missed what it said. Alright, 99 MP. Why is it... Okay, he does fear Salamando. That's great. I'm gonna use Exploder on him. And then maybe... Maybe heal Hulk. I might even want to use uh, like a 
Saber spell. Holy shit, 250, 280 something? Is that what it just did? 69 damage. All right, I'm gonna use a level five. Never mind. I charged all the way up to level five, and then I got hit by something that engulfed me. And it undid my spell. Or, er, it undid my charge. How is this guy using so many elements? He sets me on fire and then frosties me. But damn, that exploder is doing so much damage. All right, like, I don't need to hit him with weapons. Three twenty-two. But all right, and that's doing a ton of damage too. Like I guess maybe this guy's just a piece of cake. Look at how small he's getting, as well. <laughs> Did you see me spin around with a level five attack and do like forty damage? I don't really know why that worked, but he was probably taking damage from a different source. Whatever, let's put this away. Let's hit him with the exploding spell again. Level four. That's the highest level. It's not, but... Um, it actually might be as high as I can get it at the moment. That or five. Maybe it's five. All right, dispel magic. He keeps dispelling magic, but I'm like not buffing my characters. Maybe I should so that he feels better about his dispel magic. Also, where are we? <laughs> We're just in this crazy crystal cave. CCC, crazy crystal cave, that's the abbreviation. He's dead, look, I did it with one single arrow. Ugh, that was annoying. The whole dungeon was annoying because I kept picking the wrong way. Like, it's, it basically was pretty straightforward if I had chosen the correct path to begin with. Like, I basically had a couple 50-50s that it was like, oh, if you go this way, then you'll be able to get to the boss. But I chose wrong every time. I didn't get an orb there? Never mind. I got one here instead of there. Shade, I am the spirit of the darkness and an elemental of mana. I believe in a thing called love. Few have defeated my dark servants. Take my powers as your reward. Yeah, I have probably killed a lot of people in this testing process. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, look, there's a mana seed that we can... I think you have to lick it, right? That's how you seal it. Kind of like an envelope. Receive the seed's power. Holy shit, we did so much this episode. I did a lot of traveling, and I feel like this is a great place to stop. So, I'm gonna... <clears throat> What I meant was, I feel like this is a great place to stop, with a T in it, not sop. I pronounced it wrong. Ugh. My narration has been trash today. Anyway, um, thank you so much, everybody, for watching this episode of Secret of Mana. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me.